Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Octopath Traveler walkthrough. Alright, so we are smack dab in the middle of, oh my god, that was very loud. Uh, the middle of Alfin's Chapter 2. Um, so let's get rolling here. Uh, coachman by trade, he puts the safety of his customers above all else and refuses to travel dangerous regions regardless of the payment offering or offered. Owing to his experience, he knows many of shortcut and back road. So that's going to give us Vanessa's destination. Okay. Alright, so that looks like that's. Yeah, I got one more. Apparently, one more objective here to complete up in the manor district. Alright, a haughty aristocrat who leads a life of luxury, turning his nose up at all not born into privilege. His elitist attitudes have in turn earned him the ire of the common folk and no few fellow noblemen. Gossip of Glowworm Moss. Okay. Alright. So Vanessa set out for the caves of Azure to the east. Got it. Alrighty. Well. Oh, oh, oh. What's this? A hidden item. Silver axe. That sounds lame. All right, so yeah, uh, looks like we're going to be heading to the east. All righty, the road to the Caves of Azure. Right, took the low road. Never take the high road, folks. I haven't, uh, I haven't taught him all of his apothecary skills. I should probably get on that, huh? Let the thunder roll. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's take a look here. Let's Rotation. Oops, I actually didn't want to buy that skill. Items used by a single chosen ally will affect all. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, you could do, um, I don't know what, like, oh, look at there, Donor's Charity. Apparently, that was the first time I've ever actually learned that skill. Yeah, Hale and Hardy, um, that was, uh, I know you referenced that in the last video there, but, um, yeah, that, that is one of the passive skills that, uh, apothecaries get. Um, let's see here. 
Oh yeah, so anyways, the um uh that that ability seems like that would be good for things like the uh the is it revitalizing jam? Let me just see. Oh refreshing. Oh wait, no. Yeah, it restores HP, SP, and BP to a single ally. So like, you know, if you use that ability from Elfin here, then you can use Revitalizing Jam and that'll affect everyone. That's pretty slick. Could probably pair that up with um, Endless Items. Seems like a pretty good combo. Okay, um... What a weird... Oh, excuse me, what a weird spot for a save uh, point, right? It's right in... Come on, I've got better things to do. I feel like I'm gonna end up doing some backtracking here. <laughs> Where's the nearest tavern? I'm uh, I'm honestly really really glad that I uh, did just a boatload of leveling, um, you know, early on. I, I just love that I'm <laughs> like you know one one turn killing um, you know entire groups of enemies feels pretty good. Um, I'm, uh, I'm very prepared to say that Therion is actually the best character to start with in the game. There's just, uh, you know, so many locked treasure chests. It's almost, I mean, I don't know if it's every, probably not every single dungeon, but it's almost every dungeon. And so, you know, you probably just really want him with you at all times, you know. I assume it would be, and I just, again, I have to assume because it hasn't happened to me, but... I would assume it would be very frustrating to, you know, end up deep in a dungeon and uh, not be able to unlock uh, treasure chests. But um, yeah, I don't know. that's my that's my thoughts on that. I haven't. Uh... I'll oh, make excuse this me. Quick. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I haven't uh, haven't really thought that much about. He's the best uh, main character beyond that, but also he does make a pretty good sword. Where's right the here. nearest tavern? Yeah, there, it might. I, I may. I may uh, like rethink that later on, but we'll see. As of right now, he makes a he makes a really great sorcerer. Um, let's see. Kind of feels like I've explored this dungeon as as well as I'm going to. <laughs> yeah, I think um, he's really really fast too, which I mean, I don't know. There, there's something that I don't I don't know. I'll be honest, I don't quite understand how like turn order gets gets chosen. Um, it seems like uh, Therion acts first a lot, but not at not every time. 
them, so I don't know if there's, you know, some randomized aspect to, to speed in turn order. Um, Alright, looks like we're ready to go here. Now to harvest myself some glowworm moss. Can't keep my well-paying patients waiting. <laughs> oh, to think this moss would bring me a king's ransom. Known this job could be so profitable. Howdy, Vanessa. Fancy meeting you here. Oh boy. <laughs> so you sniffed out my supply, huh? Well, you're not as stupid as you look. Wow, mean. <laughs> that medicine you gave the townspeople for their fevers was brewed from Gabora Evergreen, wasn't it? <laughs> That was your plan all along, to induce the side effects so you could sell the remedy at a premium. <laughs> you catch on quick. I travel the land selling my potions and salves for more leaves than you'll see in a lifetime. What do lay folk know of illnesses and their cures? Nothing. That's what makes this job so easy. If it weren't for rival apothecaries like you. <laughs> She's like the epitome of like the horrible doctor. What happened to your sworn duty to ease suffering? <laughs> Here's some advice, little puppy. Don't trust anything you can get for free. A stately mansion, lavish dresses, fine wine. Why shouldn't everything I want be mine? She made a little rhyme there. That's very cute. You're free to have what you want, but I won't let you deceive the weak and vulnerable to get it. Using your knowledge to inflict pain for profit? You're a disgrace to our profession. Doesn't it make you feel anything to see people suffer? <laughs> Should it? The ailing, the injured, they're tools to an end. Just like the little kittens I test my tonics on. Oh, okay, we've gone into full-blown psychopath territory. Ooh, okay. They bring me leaves by the bucket. And when they've outlived their usefulness, they die. <laughs> wow, okay. Yep. Do you cry when you toss away a broken flask? Well then, why should I? <laughs> Okay, crazy. Unfortunately for you, there's no cure for a rotten heart. Oh, so you don't care for my philosophy. Perhaps you'd care to die instead. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. My ample wealth has allowed me to secure good insurance. You're a threat to my business. And you don't seem like the type to go home quietly. Oh, she's like a hybrid apothecary merchant class. I see. <laughs> or the type to keep your mouth shut, even if you did. You're God's damn right I won't. On the contrary, I'm gonna brew a remedy and help those people. Not for profit, but because easing people's suffering is what I do. How noble. But here's my diagnosis. That shabby sense of justice will prove fatal. <laughs> this should be fun. All right, Vanessa is being protected by her hired help. My turn. As one does. All right, let's see here. Get out. What next? Here goes nothing. Do some analysis here. What have we here? No. 
One of these days, I'm going to uh, figure out more about the um, scatter them all. Uh, the apothecary skill. I just haven't really used it that much. Um, it's very. It does seem very, very good, right? Like you know, multi. So, you know, some of his remedies can like, or some of his uh, whatever abilities or combinations, maybe I should say. Uh, you know, are able to, to do some really powerful stuff, like restore BP to everybody. Which is pretty slick. Out of my way. Um, man, do I want to just open up on these guys? Or... Uh, it's not that great. How about you? Nothing. What have we here? <laughs> Let's do this. What's your mind? Herb of healing. All right, that's pretty lame. We really need to worry about won. that then. Medicinal component of small volume. Try this. Look at that. An interesting dilemma. Now the tempest of ice shall rain. Out of my way. What's your dilemma? Victory shall be mine. Right, well. What have we here? Dark. No. poison there. Ah, oh, let's see. A great inferno to scorch the land. Here we go. Oh my god, look at how do I have so many essence of pomegranate? So, um potent. Oops. Yeah, dust. With... Okay, so that's how you get to the multi, multi-target. Yeah, dust. Yeah, dust is multi-target. Yeah, I see. Well, um, let's do another seed. With the poison to get rid of. Try this. Bring it on! Bring it on! There's the break. An interesting dilemma. Oh, I don't want to overdo this. I actually do want to steal from her still. Let me just see here. Ooh, that's a your seven. Mind. Oh, the battle we'll get is it. truly joined. Ooh. Big swings. Here goes nothing. What's yours? Oh my gosh, come on. Come on, guy. I think that's three fail steel though. How about you? I think not. Not, uh, not good. No. Not good. Out of my way! Coptic 
explosive. Oh, look at you. How about you? She's got a lot of health. Interesting dilemma. Oh, now she's in the red. So I'm gonna start standing up. If I can get this steel here. Come on. Okay, so that's actually pretty good. All of the life uh, else. Right. That'll, you know, revive and restore a ton of health. So, that's oh, right. Right, so I'm gonna let's get with the big stuff. Oh, okay, See ya. <laughs> Try again. I should have used a lightning spell to take advantage of the increased lightning damage on that axe, but that's all right. I'm gonna get another one. Ugh. Damn it all, I paid good coin for them. The game's up, I'll be taking this moss now. And I've alerted the guards, if you know what's good for you, you'll turn yourself in. All right, you've got me, I repent, I repent. Hmm. Sussed out your escape route already? <laughs> I'm not as naive as I look. Now listen here. I brought a special treat just for you. Oh boy. This isn't good. Wait, that's now then. Feeling you'd recognize it. Slumber thorn, the most powerful sleep inducing inducing substance in the realm. One prick and the next thing you know, you'll be waking up on a dungeon floor. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh gotcha. <laughs> Get it? Maybe one day you can start over as a real apothecary if they ever let you out. Ugh. You'll pay for this, you stupid naive. Down you go. Now then. I'll keep it quiet until the guards come, and I'll just help myself to some of this moss. He didn't, right. even, he didn't tell her to count backward from a hundred. That'll do her. That must be his, that's his like catchphrase. Hold tight, Flynn, I'm on my way. That'll do her. <laughs> okay, oh, travel banter. Let's do it. Now then. What do you intend to do about that woman? Vanessa, I reckon I'll let her stew in a jail and ponder all she has done. Do you know she doesn't strike me as the type to turn introspective? Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe not, but I figure she's tossing and turning something fierce right about now. What do you mean? See, Slumberthorn has other effects. Less well-known can prick a person's conscience, for example. If there's something in your heart you'd rather avoid, it'll come out in your sleep instead as a nightmare. That's right, she'll deal with that when she wakes up is up to her. If I weren't, she is having second thoughts about what she did. Well, I hope so. Why, for my sake? Just be careful, all right? Okay. <sighs> well, how are you feeling now? Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> Better. Oh my. Her cough is gone. And my throat, it doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> Good to hear it. Saved my daughter's life. How can I even begin to repay you? It's on the house. The moss didn't cost me anything after all. <laughs> How could I have been so wrong? You were the true apothecary. Pray forgive my rudeness earlier, good sir. <laughs> no skin off my nose. Your girl's healthy again. That's all that matters to me. Thanks. Thank you, Elfin. Finally, I can go gather seashells with Ellen again. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Go have all the fun you want. Be safe, dear. And with that, I'd best be off. There are other people out there who need this medicine. And once I've done my job and everyone in Gold Share, Gold Shore is hale and hearty, it'll be time to hit the road again. Ah, yeah. See ya. Till we meet again. Hey, thanks.
Thanks. Oh, thank you. Thank you ever, ever so much. I think Elfin actually might be the hero of the story. Now then. <laughs> oh, oh. He's gonna get jumped. <laughs> Shake him down. Where out there is someone in need of a fixer upper? Elfin! <laughs> oh, Ellen. Flynn. Aw, oh, we were trying to surprise you. You're already looking a hundred percent, ain't you, Flynn? I'm all better now, thanks to you. But what's this? Have you two been rolling around in the dirt all day? <laughs> These are for you. Wowzers, seashells, and scores of them. We found them together, Flynn and me. Thank you for helping us, Elfin. Take care, okay? Shucks. We found as many as we could. We know you're poor. Oh. <laughs> Is this going to be enough? I reckon it'll keep me fed for a while. You didn't have to. You all take care of your mother now, you hear? <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> He's crying. Alvin's crying. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> Grown-ups aren't supposed to cry. <laughs> Even grown-ups need a good cry from time to time. That's right. <laughs> Stay healthy for me, will ya? You too, Alvin. You... <laughs> too! Aww. my hero an unreachable ideal but heck if I ain't getting closer by the day and so Elfin bid farewell to Goldshore more convinced than ever of his chosen path though his travels had only just begun one town was already happier for his presence and so he set forth for Saints Bridge in the Riverlands, eager to see what his journey had in store. All right, the quack. That's awesome. Um, all right, so yeah, uh, you know, I'll be honest. I think that this was the, this was, in my opinion, the best chapter so far, probably like storyline wise. Um, but alright, that is going to be it for this one. Uh, the next video will be taking care of the side quests uh, in, the, in the town here in Goldshore. So, uh, as always, hope the guide was helpful, and hope you had joined me for more videos. Thanks for watching.